No, no, go away. Just, just, go away. Could <laughs> go away. No, leave me alone. God. Oh my God, go away. <laughs>So welcome back to the KC Cup. Now I have skipped a couple of days because uh, honestly, it's not fun when your videos are blue eyes, blue eyes, blue eyes, blue eyes, blue eyes. Basically been my experience on the KC Cup. I thought today let's go in with sharks and see what happens. We're going against a Yami Yugi, which is surprising because I haven't actually seen a Yami Yugi on ladder yet, I don't think. Uh, unless my brain is kind of a uh, win streak of four. We did quite well last night uh, with Dharma Magician again. So, uh, ooh, we opened good. <laughs> I mean, actually, it's not great because we don't have access to any of our back row, which really would have made things better. But we can do quite a bit because we have access to, like, double angler. Like, we're in a very good spot for just, like, getting so many things out. But we're going to need to play this right because what do we want to go into? So let's do Roach because Roach is going to give us uh, a, a nice little negate on summon if he does anything, you know, with, with monsters. And then we can go into the uh, the angler, and then use you to go into. Do -do, should we go into? Yeah. Let's also sit on a hope woven dragon spider shark, because if he attacks, then he you know he's gonna be weakened. But if he has a lightning vortex, then uh, <laughs> then we just lost our board, which we would have done anyway. Like nothing in my extra deck could really survive that, apart from going into the uh, the Bahamut shark and then into the the air shark into our skill but let's see what yugi does because uh hopefully he's gonna play something super heavy samurai soul piercer oh okay uh i do not like this deck i'm really not a big fan of of playing against this because they just set up a big wall and this only does attack which uh not very good but let's see gonna synchro summon into the Ogre Shoot and Doji, and we can use the effect of our Steel Storm Roach to straight up negate the summon and get rid of it, which I forgot about, but that's cool. Soul Pierce can activate in the graveyard to add a Super Heavy Samurai from deck to hand. I hope he doesn't have a special summonable card, but if he does, then, uh, then we might have lost. Adding in uh, Prepped Defense, which uh, doesn't really do much, for sure. And then we have, oh boy, fish, depth charge. Okay, I think we just win. And now we'll summon this. We should attack him. We should be able to get in, assuming there's no Karibos. There is not. There. Huh? Oh, I actually just read that, didn't I? Come on, Battle the card effects is telling you what? Oh, uh, I didn't even read what it does. I just, I just saw there was no, there was no graveyard effect. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, great. So, but we do have one more negate. You know, we have one more negate on our, uh, on our roach. But it doesn't seem like he's going to be doing that. We'll see. Ending his turn. Going to do, yeah, we'll do it. I mean, we could wait. Do that, and we'll just go and yoink that one out of the game. Into a karma cut, okay. And it's an MST, that's nice, because he doesn't play back row. So uh, we should be good. I'm gonna attack him with the with, with the roach. And see what that does. Please be weaker. Oh, okay. So this one can put things on order. And he can banish it to add a monster, which uh <laughs> which ain't very good. You know? Uh th that's not great. So we can banish it, excavate, if it is, add one, and if he does, this thing becomes zero. But it floats. He gets out of the graveyard. I have a karma card. So I'm kind of thinking we do it. Because if it dies, we can float into. Okay, revealing the, what was that? That was the uh, the Samurai Flutist. Treat this card a special, a super Samurai in your hand. Uh, and it has the targeting negation, okay. So, whatever we do, we stop right now. Now, whatever he does, we kind of stop right now. Assuming there's nothing in his graveyard. Summons the Flutist, we can go and go Karma Cut, fuck off. Yeah, just, just, just get rid of you. Gone. Gone. That's it. You're done. You're done. 
We, of course, we do have a, a zero attack uh, Hope Woven. <laughs> so we do need to see, you know, a monster or a spell card that can get back a monster. But, uh... No, no go away. Just, just, go away. <laughs> go away. No, <laughs> leave me alone. <laughs> God. Oh my God, go away. <laughs> Jesus. No, okay, uh, what's this one? This is the, um, right, okay, that, that, that was just to get something on board, which is fine. Uh, it doesn't do piercing, so there's no point. This is a fun one, but I think he's got it, you know, I don't think, I think he's, he can easily win, and that's gonna be that's gonna be another one of the one that can banish itself to uh to mill. So let's see. Buzzsaw Shark, nice. I'll summon you. Can't do anything with it, but we'll summon you anyway. Uh, attack in with the Roach and see if that is a Soldier Wall. Okay. Um, doesn't really do anything. We just attack in and get some damage in, hopefully. If only that was a boost. If only. If only that was a boost by 500, that would have been great. But no, we're playing it, so we can't get Booker Moon. Do you have anything else, Yugi, for me today? Bam, Destiny. I completely forgot Destiny Draw was a thing. <laughs> I completely forgot he had Destiny Draw. Okay, that's uh, that's not good. But we have a floater. Y you know, we have things we can do. Uh, Big Warachi coming down. I guess we do the Malevolent Sin. Or, or we do uh, the, the Shark Drake. And then summon it back, and uh, if we can get there, which we might be able to do, if, if we draw into a, um, a, what is it, uh, a whitefish, then we can, I think. Synchro into Stealth Ninja. Do, 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 do. And then equipping on the start, he might just have no TK here. He might just... I assume that that doesn't count as a spell trap card. Right. Detach one. Doesn't do anything anyway. Because it's 4,000 on the thing. Yeah, okay. Right, sure. I'll take damage, it's fine. Oh, it's a problem though, because that, that by default is 28 defense. It's huge. Massive. And that don't do anything. <laughs> uh... But we ain't got a fish. We've got a sea serpent. <laughs> so uh, that's that's not uh, that's not gonna go down too well, I don't think. Um, Super Samurai Soul Horns gonna equip on. I can make a Tekken. Yeah, okay, 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 okay dude, okay. Stealth Ninja. Half its attack points. Do a direct attack. Cool. Okay. That's fine. Um. So, no, but I'm going to play this, and I don't know if it works. Seemingly does. Oh, karma cuttings would have been great, but unfortunately we just don't have the thing to buy out it. Yeah, it's whatever. I ain't got a card to out it. I'm just trying to kill you. Like I'm just, I'm just trying to kill myself. Yeah, like, like I ain't got a card to out it. Unfortunately. To duel two, Poyo from Germany. Uh, Jesse Anderson. Okay. This could be something interesting, or it could be again like some cheese blue eyes, not on Kaiba for, for some reason. But let's see. Opening not really the best. Uh, I mean. Angler's cool because we can get it back with salvage and we do have the depth charge. We can just set it and then pop one and then draw one and then bring it back next turn. We have an MST for the back row. Not bad. A actually not bad. Even better. Oh my god. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So MST going to come down. We're going to go and use that to pop the back row. Which was a Canadia. Okay. Pretty big. Utunaful. Going to go and summon out from the deck. The We'll summon the Bustle. Oh, we can we can do quite a lot here actually. Like I just just realised we can do we can do an insane amount. So we can go into uh, let's go into you actually, because we can then potentially bring it back with our guy next turn. 
Uh, I'm then going to special summon now. Uh, oh, mm. I go into that's just waters, right? If there's a war on the field, you can special this card. Yeah, it is. Okay. So. We can do what? Summon into you, detach one, to summon out that. Uh, thinking. Just thinking a little bit. So what we can do. Yeah, okay, right. Yeah, that, that, okay. No, I just, I just worked out. I'm just being dumb. So summon you. Going to go into our first boy. Into our spider. It's going to let us banish the face down. And then we just summon the, the, the big shark. <laughs> we summon the big shark and attack in. And then we then we win. Uh, detaching you to get you. Do, oh, no. We can't because... Oh, actually, no. We have, the, we have damage on board. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's fine. Uh... Okay, uh, yeah, I, I completely missed. Brain doesn't work. Can only special summon once per turn. Uh, just from hand. Yeah, that's that. That's fine. But we, but we won. We won. So, uh, so yeah, it was, uh, it was fine. Uh, we won our second duel. Great. Excellent. On to duel number three. Duel Trez. Reboot. Great. A red reboot. Gonna be a rocket player. Going in starting duel. What's a, what's a forbidden limited list? I don't know, Konami. What is a forbidden limited list? Japan, Dorlinks level 14. Dorlinks, Dorlinks level 14. Akiza, level org. Go on. Show me the Dark Lords. Show me the car. What, the bike. Uh, going going second, which means that she's going to have uh, opened it. Ooh, 20, 25 cards. Okay. That's a little different. That's the thing this deck is that, you know, sometimes you just really want to see two. Yeah, like, or you want to see something that can bring, you know, that can bring it back, so you don't really want to waste this. Because this works with the other thing in hand, so you really want to see more of the other one, because the other one's such from deck. So, uh... Southern Dragons, okay. Uh, yeah. That's, uh, that that's my favourite. I might even prefer Thunder Dragons less than Blue Eyes, honestly, to play against. Like, like, like nothing gets people to play them, but it's just, it's just one of those decks that, like, you just sit there, you, you take a nap, and then you wake up, and they've... And, th and they're still trying to summon Levy near. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah. Doo-doo. Oh, uh, it's uh, that it, okay. Uh, cool. Oh! Oh, yes, opening the... the Opening the card, right. Obviously, you have a... Uh, you have a dark hand you can activate, which is which is fine. But, we can go into your shark, or maybe he does... Maybe she doesn't. Maybe she opened two darks. Ooh. That wouldn't have been very nice. Um, let's summon out you. Now, we could... You know, right, if, if this is banished, you could add one, which you don't really want to do. Uh, but... We can't win. We can't win anyway. You know, e even if we try to, we can't win anyway. So... What do we do here? We can't, we can't, <laughs> we, we can't deal piercing. Uh... That would be kind of insane. We can summon this that then summons the other thing. And then... I, I might do that, actually. I might go for, for Bahamut. We, we then do still have the fish on board. You know, we do have the tribute. So we are in a fairly decent spot. Detach you. And then we're going to go and grab... Uh, let's grab the Aeroshark. And then use our skill to go and make uh, Aeroshark into... Oh, full armor exceeds black ray. It's a, it's a very cool skill. It's a very cool skill. And then we should be able to just go and pop into you. Obviously, you add. Not the best, but uh, gonna grab the duo. Okay, and that, that's fine. We'll attack in. Just just get some. Just just get a little bit of damage in. And then we'll see what our uh, what our Akiza can do. Thunder Dragon Hawk. Okay, discarding that to special, I believe. Yeah. Special banish from the graveyard, except itself, specialing summoning out Thunder Dragon Raw. Uh like this is the thing is that you know you wanna wait and save this for the Levineer, but <sighs> Okay, going to another Thunder Dragon Raw, which will then special out from the deck something else. Once per turn though, so if it's another six, then we can... Okay, right, you're going into Bouncer, aren't you? Yeah, you're going to Bouncer. We're going we're gonna to preemptively go do that. going to get rid of that to pop... Uh, let's 
pop the raw. Yeah. Okay, okay, cool. Is that enough? Probably not. He probably has Levine here. Yep, banishing you for Leviant. Two? Oh, three, yeah, I can, I can count. Leviner coming down. Dragon Roar's effect. Like, that's the thing is that, you know, like, either way, he was getting Leviner. And Leviner can't attack his turn, and neither of us can do his effect, you know? So, it, it really doesn't matter in that case what we did. But we have protection, I believe, in, uh, in our Lancer. Level dupe. Gonna make them both level eight? Level six. Okay, yeah, and then, and then probably comes the Bouncer. Which uh, would then stop that from being destroyed. Or would, would make it destroyed. Xyz Summon. Into rank 6. What will this be? Will it be Bounds? It's going to be Photon Strike Bouncer, of course. And just straight attacking in and destroying that. Okay. Right. So this doesn't destroy, does it? No, this doesn't. This just straight up uh, negates. Which is fine. That's fine. Summon this, you know. Activate the effect, special out, uh, why not? It's going to negate it, which is fine. We, d we don't need, we don't need it to be around. 500, sure, summon up the angler. Then we can go in and go into our spider shark boy. And that should be game. 26, attack in. Gonna use the effect of Spider Shark, gonna detach one, there's a mana, boom, attack of 900, attack the 23, that should be game. There we go. Thunder Dragons be gone. Very, very nice. I believe that was game three, so one more maybe we'll, we'll do. Oh, this is, this, is a, this is a very long video. <laughs> yeah, we'll do one more. So there's our ticket, we've got some jemmies. Do one more. Tetsu Trudge, okay, that's... That might be level org again. I don't know if he has it. He probably does. It's five Ds. Current win streak two. We're, we're, we're moving up in the world. Let's see. Going second with... Okay, we're moving to... Really? I... I didn't think there would be a single person playing Flower Guardians. Wow. Okay... Uh, pine, move grass, and maple with deer. <sighs> but but you know we, you know we we opened tripled lance. <laughs> uh okay. Um, sure. I mean, to be fair, we can't win this turn. It's just impossible to win. Uh, unless we have something we could do to detach, as long as we have something we could do to detach, um, but we can't win this turn anyway. So what do we do? Um, this could come and be pretty big, and it floats, which is nice. Uh, we can summon you and then summon out a angler, which would be. What, plus 500? That'd be 20... Not enough. We could summon Barma Shark and summon our boy. Which might... You know, honestly, I've more and more been liking the Barma Shark. Because it gives us protection. You know, we have, we have two monsters. Protection. It's always nice to see. Uh, and we can get discarded. We can go and discard you. And then summon our... Uh, Summon our, if only we had banished cards, that'd have been that'd been great if we could we we could you know actually use the effect of Aero Shark, but we can't. So we'll summon into you. We'll then play Salvage. And scoop! Okay! Cool. Uh Klee thought we had more there than, than we actually did. And they could attack, they could both attack, but if he read, they can't. So uh not bad, but that is gonna be me wrapping up today's Dual Links KC Cup video. I'm not really gonna, you know, carry on the uh you know, I'm not going to call it day something because, you know, we, we've skipped already a couple of days. But, uh, but yeah, let me down below how your KC Cup is going. Is it going well? Obviously, currently, we're uh, a couple of days ahead from when I'm posting this. So, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next Duel Links video. See you then.